Slow operations characterize activity at Butali Sugar Mill. Anxious looking workers, all waiting with bated breath as the fate of its existence awaits judgment of the Sugar Tribunal, which will rule whether the licensing of the miller was procedural. But as the legal battles rages on, farmers who are invested heavily are bearing the brunt. Wale watu wamejiriwa hapa, watapotesa kasi, hawa watu wataenda wapi. Wako na, mafa, wako na familia, zenye zina, watetea, zina watekemea. Tali yet again finds itself in an awkward position after the court of appeal in Kisumu recently pushed the ball to the industry regulator, the Kenya Sugar Board, to give a verdict after two rivals went to court accusing Butali of Ken poaching. This essentially means that Tali violated the 40 kilometer radius allocated to it to source sugar cane, in essence, breaking the sugar board regulations. Farmers sense an ingenious scheme to bring back the old dark days of monopoly by rival millers. Hapo zamani wakati tumekuwa na West Kenya peke yake kupata laize, kupata permit ulikuwa unashukulika for 6 months au hujapata permit hata paka wakulima wengine wakaanza kungoa miwa. Kadio walikuwa wanachukua hata miezi tatu ndio wanatulipa alafu wanakata pesa nyingi kama winchi wanakukata. What farmers are now demanding is sober arbitration between West Kenya Sugar and Butali to allow healthy competition that will see farmers fetch better prices from the crop. And this is something local leaders have lauded with gas. Uyo anauzia hapa, uyo anauzia hapa. Pana vukuza mungine, ati unasema uyo bakie peke yako. Kwa ni wene nani? Hii dunia tunakaa wote pamo? Sawa. Competition must thrive. Francis Ontomwa, KTN Business.